Hi there. Um, I've been getting quite a few questions emailed to me and through my website, denisesanger.com, asking me about my hysterectomy. And I decided that I'm just going to do a very short video series um, called After the Hysterectomy, What to Expect. And I'll touch on weight loss, exercise, sex, metabolism, and probably wind it all up at the end with um, how I'm doing since it's been about 18 months since my hysterectomy. So hopefully it'll help some of you with these questions. And I get it. A lot of, a lot of times we don't want to talk to the doctor about these questions or, you know, because they're kind of personal questions. I'm very lucky in that my doctor is, she's the bomb and she's actually, uh, I think like eight years younger than I am, and she's personally experiencing what I experienced, which resulted in my hysterectomy. But if you're not, if you don't have that kind of a relationship with your doctor, try to try to get one. I mean, sit down and ask your questions to the doctor. That's the best source of information for you. Another option is to talk to the nurse. Now, I did personally talk to my doctor about everything except sex. That's the one question I didn't talk to her about, but I did at, talk to the OR nurse right before my hysterectomy about sex. So, um, but that's going to be in the next video. So this video today, let's talk about weight loss. Um, before my hysterectomy, which would have been December 2013, I was suffering with very, very heavy periods, you know, just... I used to tell everybody, basically, I was just hemorrhaging. I'd be on the couch for like two days. And for me, that's not me. I've never never even had that type of period that I would have to be down for the count for a full day, let alone longer than that. So um, on the physical side, it also made me look like I was six months pregnant. So my weight was up over 20, 25 pounds, I think. So I went in to have the hysterectomy, and the day... After the hysterectomy, I was already down over 10 pounds. So that just tells you how much those uh, fibroid tumors that I was dealing with in the cyst on my ovaries, that's how much weight it actually put on me. And then you add in the water weight. So by the time I was out of the hospital and starting to get back to a semi-normal daily routine, I had already lost the weight in about two weeks. But, I want to be clear, this weight was strictly a direct result of my fibroid tumors and cysts and having to have a hysterectomy, okay? So the weight I gained was a result of a medical issue. The weight I lost was a result of the surgery. Now, going forward, yes, I would still like to lose some more weight, but I look at it from the overall perspective in how I feel. I honestly wish I didn't wait as long as I did to have that hysterectomy. Um, immediately, immediately, I felt so much better than before the surgery. Yes, the weight is coming off, but very, very slowly. And what I've learned to do is to not stress about it. I don't stress about the numbers on the scale. I go by my clothes. And if my clothes start to feel a little bit snug, I know that I'm probably not eating clean. And what I do is I get back out my 21 day fix program because I'm a beach body coach. I get that back out and I go back to measuring my portions. And that's nine times out of 10, that gets me right back on track because what happens when you think you know the correct portions and you're just winging it and putting it on your plate, you're probably eating too much. So the best thing I can tell you is to eat clean, which means eat real food, and watch your portions. It'll come off slowly, but it won't be adding up on top of it, okay? So just keep that in mind. You're not gaining weight. You might not be losing the weight on the scale, but you will see that in other areas like inches and your clothes, but just keep moving forward eating clean, real food, and watching your portions. Again, reach out to me if you need me, denisesanger at gmail.com, denisesanger.com, and howtostayfitover50.com. And the next one, the next video, I'm going to touch on sex, I believe. 
Okay? Talk to you soon. Bye.